What do you mean by depletion mode and mass inverter? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju, and welcome to the Backbench Engineering community, where I make engineering easy for you. So, let us ask ourselves that obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term depletion mode and mass inverter? Well, let's find out. So, an inverter is a device in which whatever input we give, we get the exact opposite as the output. That is, if we are giving 0 as the input, we will get 1 as the output. Or if we are giving 1 as the input, we will get 0 as the output. So here, in the case of a depletion mode and mass inverter, we are constructing an inverter with the help of N MOS transistors. So, the conventional way in which we create an N MOS inverter is like first we will have a source over here, VDD. We will have a source voltage over here. This is connected to a particular load like this. Some load, say resistance R. And this now is connected to an N MOS transistor like this. Now here the source is grounded as well as this particular terminal. So here now this is the gate. So to the gate terminal we give the input V in. And the output is taken from the drain terminal over here, say V out. But now in this case while we use a particular resistor as load, there are a lot of shortcomings or there are a lot of disadvantages. Here, the main disadvantage is that this kind of a setup has got standby leakage current and it has a very poor noise margin. So now here, because of a lot of constraints, a lot of disadvantages, what we now do is that we now replace this particular resistive load R with an NMOS like this. But the main thing we have to notice here is that this particular NMOS is in the depletion mode. Whereas this particular NMOS is in the enhancement mode. So here what we observe is that this is also grounded like this. And now here this is the gate terminal and this is the source. So the gate and the source are shorted like this. So this is a depletion mode NMOS inverter. So this is a circuit diagram of a depletion mode NMOS inverter. So now here there are two NMOS transistors. This is the load NMOS transistor and this is in the depletion mode. Whereas this, this is the driving NMOS transistor and this transistor is in the enhancement mode. So therefore, with the help of two NMOS transistors, we have now constructed a particular depletion mode NMOS inverter. So here, this is where we give an input and this is where we obtain an output. And this is where we give the source voltage. So now, let us see how this works. So here, what we observe is that here the particular gate terminal and source terminal, these both are shorted over here like this. So since the gate and source are shorted, what we observe is that VGS is equal to 0. And now, in the case of an NMOS transistor in the depletion mode, what we observe is that the threshold voltage VTH is negative. So therefore, VTH is less than 0. So now here, because VGS is 0 and because VTH is less than 0, what we observe is that this particular transistor will always be in the on condition. That is because this VGS is greater than VTH, that is the threshold. So because of this, this particular transistor will always be in the on condition. So therefore, this acts as a non-linear resistor, which means that this can either be in the linear region or it can be in the saturation region. So if it is in the linear region, that means that it has got some amount of resistance. But if it is in the saturation region, it means that it has no resistance whatsoever. So here, this is a simple circuit diagram of a depletion mode and MOS inverter. So now here, this acts as a non-linear resistor. So therefore, there is some kind of a load acting over here. So now, here, this acts as a switch. This acts as a switch. So now, let us imagine that we are giving an input, say, 0 over here. So when we give an input V in as 0, 
what we observe is that when this input is zero, this particular switch will be in the off condition. So if this switch is in the off condition, that means that V out will be high because here there's nothing over here. So this much portion is gone. So whatever that comes from the source goes to the output like this. So therefore we get an output say one. But now rather if the input we are giving is one, if V in is one, we are giving an input say one. What we observe is that this particular switch becomes on. So if this particular switch becomes on, whatever voltage or whatever current that comes through this particular source, it straight away goes to the ground. It just goes to the ground. So therefore, the V out will be zero. Hence, we have now successfully constructed a particular inverter with the help of two NMOS. One is in the depletion mode and the other one is in the enhancement mode. So now here, let us see the input output voltage characteristics of a depletion mode NMOS inverter. Here we have the output voltage V out and here we have the input voltage V in. So therefore, if this is the maximum input voltage, which is VDD, the source VDD, and if this is the maximum output voltage VDD, which can come out from here, then what we observe is that for zero input voltage, we would have a maximum voltage over here. But with time, this will now reduce and come like this. This is the input output voltage characteristic of a depletion mode NMOS inverter. So at a point over here, the rate of change of output voltage by input voltage, which is the slope, is equal to minus one. Similarly, at a point over here as well, the slope is equal to minus one. So therefore, this can be written as VIL, whereas this is VIH. And similarly, this particular point is VOH, and this particular point is VOL. So now, let us label this as point A, this as point B, this as point C, and this as point D. So here, if this is point A, B, C, and D, then in the case of a load and MOS transistor, AB, that is this particular region, AB is in the linear region, whereas BCD, that is BCD, is in the saturation region. Whereas in the case of a driving NMOS transistor, AB is in the cutoff region, that is this particular AB is in the cutoff region, BC is in the saturation region, and CD is in the linear region. So this thus is the basic input-output voltage characteristic of a depletion mode and mass inverter. So this thus is simply what you refer to as a depletion mode and mass inverter. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it. So I hope you guys now have clear understanding of what you refer to as a depletion mode and mass inverter. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.